I'm going to start off the show by yes. letting everyone know that uh, about a week ago, I had lunch with Mercedes. I love Mercedes. Mercedes Javid like and, yes. and uh, Heather McDonald. Yes. And we and, and me. You mu- where? What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> oh, you know why? I was there too. Uh, yes, you know why I forgot. Jeez. I mean, really? Megan. I'll I tell you why I forgot. Liver. Yeah. <laughs> because we started our lunch at Katsuya. Yes. And then we moved to Starbucks, and you did not move on to I Starbucks. Left. Yes. yes. So during the Starbucks conversation, okay. Jenny Poulos came up. Yes. And. Mercedes was saying that, uh, look, you guys were friends forever. You know, you've been ups, downs. She's like family to you. Are you ever going to reach out? And I right. said, well, actually, I've thought about it like for months reaching out. And I I am um, I think I'm a good apologizer only because I wait till I'm actually really sorry. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if you make me, if you're forcing me to apologize right now, Liat, for something that I just don't feel like I should apologize for... I'm not going to be a very good apologizer. It's not going to be sincere. Well, and I also think you don't have so much pride and ego. I think I think you you admit to a lot of your whenever you make a mistake, you'll admit it. And when you're ready, some people don't. That gets in the way. Okay, that is true, but sometimes it takes me weeks, months, a year to really reflect and realize like what my role was in something, and I do I felt like it took many, many months. And I think maybe because we had such a deep, loving relationship, Jenny and I, that it took so there was a lot of hurt. And I think it took me a very, very long time to really take a look. Okay, what did you do, Jeff? Like, how did you why did she react this way? What did I say? So I finally realized after my lunch that it was time and it was a new year. And I thought, I'm going to reach out and I'm just going to look, I'm just going to put it out on the line. So what I what I wrote to her is I wrote, hi, happy new year. I hope you and your family are happy and healthy. Um, I did this yesterday, by the way. Would you be open to meeting with me sometime? Question mark. I don't feel good about what happened between us, and I'm very sorry for my role in it, Jeff. Now, I'm hoping... That's that's very, very nice. That's nice. I'm hoping that she gets back to me. I would love to sit down and talk to her. Now, I don't expect anything in return from her. So uh, I, I plan on clearing my conscience Mm -hmm. and telling her everything that I'm sorry for. But I'm not going, I'm not going to do it and be like, okay, well, what are you sorry for? Right. You know what I mean? That should happen in her own time or not. Or maybe she doesn't, yeah. Yeah, and if if the hurt is gone, then I think she'll be more open. You'll be able to see right away if there's still hurt because they'll be if she's open She'll to be it. Defensive. Well, I hope it really works out for you guys. I you know, I know how that relationship was really special and you guys have a long history together. Long, long. She's I was like a, my sister. Yeah. yeah. Guys, and and, and I, sometimes you just need time. Yeah. And I was a witness to your you know, your relationship. I miss Jenny. I mean, she reached out to me, you know, recently with yeah. the, my tragedy. But um so I think I really I'm hoping for the best for you guys. I just we live you know, we live basically in the same neighborhood. Yeah. I know I'm gonna run into her someday. Right. I don't want it to be awkward. Like, look, I don't I'm I have I have no expectations attached to this. I just don't want it to be uncomfortable if I run into her at Larson's in Encino. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Well, I think it's mature and you'll see what happens. You're growing, Jeff, so much. You are. It's All that so therapy. nice to see. 